Let's talk about the upset in College Station. And my goodness, Texas A&M 14, App State 17. Monster, monster upset. I, I was shocked. I will say that. I was completely shocked. Uh, <laughs> I'm just... I'm just really, Ed Humphrey, I thought you were going to say, why does he play road games? Now, now, Nick Saban has barely played road games. Like, road shouldn't have anything to do with it, regardless. Um, the App State situation here. And let's, let's go ahead and move over to some of these stats. 305 total yards for App State, 186 for Texas A&M. Um, I don't normally like to look at time of possession, but this one kind of blew me away, so I'm going to have to pull it up. Uh, 41 minutes and 29 seconds time of possession for App State. They only let Texas A&M hold the football for 18 minutes and 17 seconds. I Jimbo's offense is a problem. Like They're, they're just a problem. Uh, two of eight on third down. They didn't go forward on fourth down. App State was nine of 20 on third down. They were three of five on fourth down. This is a problem. Big time for Texas A&M. You have the players. You have the opportunity. Uh, Haynes King was not great. 13 out of 20, 97 yards. But it wasn't all on him. Uh, you only had two guys that ran the football. Uh, you had Evan Stewart, five catches, 48 yards. You had Anaya Smith, four catches, 21 yards. There was no... There was nothing that was groundbreaking there was no and on top of that I guess the biggest issue forget the offense yes the offense is a problem the biggest offense or biggest problem is you couldn't get App State off the field like did the defense just not care I mean I know that there's a big game coming up next week right Miami comes into Kyle Field and you know the college game day has to be so irritated because there's not a lot of great games next week what are they going to do go to Oklahoma at two loss Nebraska I mean, I guess at this point you got to go to Penn State Auburn, but like, who really wants to go? I mean, if you're a national, regardless, I'm not trying to bash on Auburn. They are two and zero, but it's not like they look like gangbusters against San Jose State last night. So uh, Humphrey jumps in. Styles make fights. Uh, New App State with no D versus the Aggies without offense would be fascinating. Yeah, landslides back in Boone. Yeah, it's it's a little weird. Uh, double and nil. I wonder if the SEC's nose is stuck a little lower in the air today. No, probably not. I think most of the SEC is just laughing at Texas A&M. I mean, that's <laughs> that's the biggest thing. You know, you know, Tennessee's hyped up right now. Uh, looking at the the post game win expectancy and all of that. I mean, it's just mind blowing because I didn't think that App would actually be able to pull it off, right? Like, you just think at some point Texas A&M is going to wake up. And they never did. Like, they never woke up. It was it was a strange thing to witness. Um, but, yeah, you look at the... Ah, I didn't even pull up the uh, the postgame stuff. Uh, 89% postgame win expectancy for App State here. Uh, looking at the, the stats where they won total yards, uh, turnovers. Texas A&M did have two turnovers. Uh, 23rd down tries to only 8 for Texas A&M. 45% conversion rate on 3rd downs. 4th down conversions. I mean, 3 out of 5, that's 60%. App State had 6 scoring opportunities. That's drives inside the 40-yard line. They had 2.83 points per. Well, if you got 2.83 points per on 6, as opposed to 3.5 on 2, yeah. And then, of course, the defensive uh, t- or the special teams touchdown that Texas A&M had. So the offense only scored seven points for them. Uh, just unbelievable, unbelievable when you really look at what happened in that ball game. And so I don't know what to make of A&M, but it is it, it, there's some people that ain't real happy with Jimbo Fisher today. And we'll see what they do for the rest of the season. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.